In today's DIY video, we're going to talk to you about how to plug a tire to get you back on the road quick and easy. It's about a five or 10 minute repair and nothing that anybody can't handle on their own. So let's go do it. Now this tire has been leaking probably now for a month or two. It goes down about 10 pounds every week or so, maybe every two weeks. So I know it's not leaking a lot and it is probably just something that it's got in the tire. It could be a valve issue, so we'll check that, but I don't think it's a valve issue. It's probably a, a nail or something in the tire and we're gonna check that out quick and then we'll get to the repair. All you need is a soapy solution of some sort, you know, 10 to one, 20 to one, and something in a spray bottle. You could even put it in a dish where you can just tap it on with your finger. I just reached in the door and grabbed some insect spray because I, I think that'll work. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray it on the, the valve, in the valve, and there is nothing, nothing coming out of there. So I don't think it's the valve, and around and behind the valve as well. And there doesn't seem to be any air leaking from in around the valve. Now, I've already, I've already checked this so I know where it is, but I'm gonna show you guys. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. If I go in here and I spray and get that in there, you will start to see it bubbling up right there. So there you can see it bubbling. Hopefully you'll be able to see it bubbling in the camera. And so I know that there's something in the tire right there. I don't know that that's the only thing, but that's the one thing that I've found. And so we're going to plug this tire and be back on the road in no time. So I highly suggest that you're always carrying a plug kit with you. You can get one of these kits that'll do several repairs. This one here will do uh, five repairs and it costs about 10 bucks. You can pick it up on Amazon. You can get them at AutoZone or any of the parts stores. You can buy a full kit, which is probably something that's not too bad to carry in your uh, motor home or trailer because it's a more heavy duty kit. You can pick up one of those for about 30 bucks and I'll put links uh, below to the ones on Amazon here. But for this one, I've been carrying this with me now since the very, very beginning and never had, a, had an opportunity to use this. So I'm actually going to take this and I know the, the hole is here. I'm gonna rotate the tire down around here so that I can get the repair done down in here low. So I'm just gonna take this and rotate the tire down. Now I'll show you why you should never pop this out. Let's say you're not gonna do the repair yourself, you're gonna take it into a tire shop and you see that and you're going, oh, I'm just gonna yank that out. Never a good idea to, to pull the plug out until you get somewhere where you can be with a flat tire because as soon as you pull this air, air is gonna, uh, as soon as you pull this air, as soon as you pull this plug, air is gonna come rushing out immediately. Let's check out that theory. Yeah, I can hear it as soon as this nail comes out, you guys are gonna hear the air come rushing out. I can hear it getting more and more as I get this thing further and further out. And then when we get it up enough, we'll grab it with the pliers and you can see that it was a little tiny screw. So that little bad boy there, if I had pulled that out when we were on the road somewhere, it would have left us on the side of the road because air, as you can hear, is now gushing out of the tire and this thing will be flat soon. So I need to rotate this down to get it into spot where we can get a plug in it. So now I've got the tire rotated down where I can get the ream tool and plug tool in there. It is right here and you can hear the air rushing out. So it's a really quick and simple process. You have a ream tool, which will make the hole a little bit bigger. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it reams it out, cleans it out, make sure there's no dirt and anything in there. Then you have the tool that the plug goes on. This one comes with the five plugs. I guess that's a cutter. Yep, that's a cutter. And then you have the cement, all right? So all we're gonna do is grab one of these plugs These are quite long, you could make it shorter, but you know, just use the whole plug and be done with it. And you're gonna stick the plug so that it's halfway through. Oh, I'm noticing that this tool here is a little bit different than some of the old school tools. 
so the old school tools you would actually turn turn the plug tool a quarter of a turn you'd actually turn the plug tool a quarter of a turn because it's just a small hook and then pull it out but this the plug will actually come right out the end so that's how you put it on we're now going to ream the hole out just set that off to the side for a second find the hole there and you're gonna ream the hole and just work it back and forth a couple of times just to clean that bad boy out okay now the air is really gonna rush out because you've just made an even bigger hole and we're gonna hit it one more time just in case now we're gonna open up the glue puncture the cap oh and I had a lot of pressure in there so that sucks now I got glue all over the place that's all right I'm not gonna hurt anything and we're gonna put some glue on the plug you don't have to put that much on we're gonna just make sure that it's just a thin layer on both sides if you try to put it out on the hole itself, it's just going to blow back out. So we're not going to do that. Okay. Now all you're going to do is push the plug inside. And you want to leave just a little bit of the plug hanging out. This one's, this one's a bear. So I'm going to get in behind it, give it a little bit of more of a push. And of course the camera's kind of in my way it is harder to push that in than I than I remember the last time I did this <clears throat> and all right we've got that in a long way now we should be able to give this a little bit of a pull and that should stay in there or it'll make a liar to me one of the two and there we go now I'm gonna give that a couple little pushes from different angles to make sure that's in there. I think we're good. We'll find out soon enough. And I'm gonna cut these off so that this is about an eighth of an inch off of the tire. And then the repair is good to go. And then of course, we'll use our Via Air compressor to fill the tire up. And that'll be it. It's a little hot out here. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. So if we take a quick look at those five steps again, it's find the hole using soapy water. Number two would be to clean the hole with the ream tool. Number three is apply glue to the plug and insert using the plug tool. Number four, cut the plug to eighth inch above the tire. And number five, fill the tire to the proper pressure and you are on your way. Always double check it. 35 is good and we're back on the road in today's DIY video we're gonna show you a quick and easy way to repair to repair to repair your lips so that your mouth and brain work together in today's DIY video <laughs> we're gonna have bugs <laughs> fly up your nose <laughs> come on out of there all right, I've got the tire rotated down in there. I guess I could turn the car off. <laughs>